Hey there and welcome to the shop. Today let's talk about two of Blue Demon's hard facing electrodes, some safety concerns, then we're going to have a short demonstration of these two products. Hard facing, also known as hard surfacing, is the process of adding harder or tougher weld metals to new or used parts to extend or prolong their useful life. Often, parts are replaced prematurely, not because they're broken, but because they're severely worn. Examples of this could be dredge parts or earth moving equipment. Hard facing will bring life back to these worn parts. Blue Demon offers several hard facing filler metals. Today, we're going to cover 58 FC-G and 55 FC-O. When selecting a hard facing filler metal, there are a few things to consider. They are hardness, abrasion resistance, impact resistance, and corrosion resistance. Hard facing filler metals are divided into three general groups. They are resistance to severe abrasion, resistance to both impact and moderate abrasion, and resistance to severe impact and moderately severe abrasion. Blue Demon's 58 FC-G is a great choice for environments with severe abrasion, moderate impact, and metal-to-metal -metal wear. This filler is metal cord and a very economical hard-facing alloy. Blue Demon's 55 FC-O has a good resistance to abrasion, impact, and excellent resistance to metal-to-metal -metal wear. Let's break down these classifications. The numbers at the beginning of the classification designate the average Rockwell hardness for a single welding pass. An example of this would be 55 FC-O would have a 55 Rockwell hardness. The FC stands for flux cord or tubular. Both these two wires are tubular and contain materials and alloys. Lastly, the O in 55 FC-O means open arc, making it a self-shielded filler wire. And the G in 58 FC-G means gas, making it a dual shielded filler wire. Both these wires can weld in the flat, vertical, overhead, and horizontal positions. They are both metal core products. They are manufactured into sizes 035, 045, and 1 16th. Both can weld using DCEP polarity, but only 55 FC-O is recommended for DCEM polarity. Typical applications for both wires can include, but are not limited to, dredge parts, earth moving equipment, and farm equipment. Be sure to check out Blue Demon's website for more product details and instructions on using either of these two products. Let's stop here for just a moment before I begin the demonstration portion. We need to talk about safety. The welding process can produce harmful light, fumes, sparks, and flying slag, just to name a few. You should always wear the proper clothing and safety gear while welding. This includes, but is certainly not limited to, a welding hood, welding jacket, or long sleeve shirt. I would suggest cotton or wool as synthetic materials may melt to your skin. Next, select the proper thickness of gloves, ear protection, and safety glasses. One should always wear eye protection during the welding process. Here's a tip. Many welders will wear a small respirator, like the one seen here. It filters out some of the harmful things floating in the air. The other thing it does is direct the hot air you breathe down and out of your hood. If you've ever welded before, you know the lens can become so fogged you can't see anything. Now that we've covered the safety portion, I'll set up a few test coupons and run a few beads. 
Hey, if you've made it this far, I appreciate you hanging in there with me. So let me tell you what we've got for our demonstration. So I've got a big chunk of steel, uh, probably a half inch thick. Uh, it's just something meaty, beefy to, to represent what a earth moving equipment would be. It's a thick piece of steel, it can soak up a lot of heat. Not that we use a lot of heat with our hard facing wires because you actually want less dilution of the weld metal and base metal. You want that, you want that weld metal to be sticking up real high because with, with hard surfacing, that's what you want to do. You want to trap dirt or whatever material you're moving. You want to trap that on the face of the metal so your, your material is rubbing against itself instead of your steel to reduce wear. So with that being said, we're going to draw some lines on here and I'm going to run some of the open arc 55 and then I'm going to run right by that some of the 58 gas so you can see what they look like. The best thing I could tell you is um, probably for outdoor use, probably the open arc self shielded probably might be the best. Uh, and if you can get inside, then you can uh, choose whichever one you want if you're in a shop setting. So let's get on to our demonstration. So here are our two beads. This is our 58 FC-G dual shield right here. I have already cleaned the slag off of it. And this is our 55 FC-O open arc. I've just cleaned the flux off of it. Both beads look really well and they should work well for you. I really appreciate you spending your time with me today. And please remember Blue Demon for all your welding needs. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.